next character is segmentation <coughs> for calling uh, an animal as uh, truly segmented animal it should have two following characteristics in truly segmented animal number of segments should be fairly constant there should not be variation in the number of segments and uh, other criteria is smallest segment should be present on posterior side of the body the representative of truly segmented phyla are annelida arthropoda and chordata in annelida this is uh, if you see the representative example as earthworm number of segment in earthworm ranges between 100 to 120 segments in different species of earthworm and posterior most uh, posterior seg uh, most segment is the smallest in size same is true with arthropods. In chordates, segmentation is seen in the arrangement of vertebrae in vertebral column. Number of vertebrae in vertebral column are same in, in a species, uh, in different uh, members of a species. So, chordates are also truly segmented. In case segmentation is present, outside as well as inside such a segmentation is called metameric segmentation metameric segmentation and metameric segmentation is characteristic of phylum annelida where body is divided externally as well as internally one animal called tapeworm which is a member of platyhelminth is referred to as pseudo segmented animal body appears to be segmented but the segments are not true segments why the reason is number of segments are not uh, constant in tape form because of a process called epolysis it refers to shading of segments and uh, the smallest segment is not present on posterior side it is present on anterior side of the body posterior most segment is largest still appearance is segmented that's why it is called pseudo segmented animal. So, tapeworm is pseudo segmented, annelids, arthropods, and chordates are truly segmented. Rest of the animal phyla are not segmented. So, you can also classify uh, animals on this basis. Next uh, term I am going to discuss is circulation. In the animals, circulatory system is of two types closed type and open type. In open type, the basic difference between uh, two types of circulatory system, open type and closed type is, when arteries and veins are not united by capillaries, system is said to be open. And if arteries and veins are joined by capillaries, system is closed. The representative of closed circulatory system is annelida, with one exception, herodin area, that is leech. Some molars, some molars like cephalopod molars, which includes octopus, in which circulatory system is closed, and in all vertebrates, in all vertebrates have closed circulatory system. These are a representative example of open circulatory system. Arthropods, all arthropods, most of the molars except except uh, cephalopods, molars, leech, echinoderms, which includes starfish, are also representative of open circulatory system. Next term is excretion. Excretion is removal of metabolic waste. It is not same as ejection which includes, uh, which means uh, ex uh, removal of undigested waste. So, there is a difference between ejection and excretion. So, metabolic byproducts are the three metabolic byproducts which uh, includes ammonia, urea or uric, hotel, uh, urea, uric acid. Animals which excrete ammonia are ammon ammonotelic. Most of the aquatic animals, aquatic animals are ammonotelic. Most of the aquatic animals. The reason is ammonia is highly soluble in water and it requires more water to uh, remove urea from uh, remove ammonia from the body. So most of the aquatic animals are ammonotelic. Urotelic animals are frogs, mammals, cartilaginous fish. 
urea like ammonia also highly diffusible in water but animals which can afford to lose water body water they can excrete urea uric acid is only metabolic waste removal of which does not require water so animals which have scarcity of water or who cannot uh, afford to lose body water are uric acid notable examples are insects land reptiles and birds aquatic reptiles may be uretolic or ammonotolic chordates are those which have no to cord at certain stages of life this is not necessary it should uh, present in adult stage it should be uh, present in any stage of life so chordates are simply those which bears no to cord at some stage of life so chordates chordata is a phyla it is divisible into three sub phyla one is eurochordata cephalochordata and vertebrata in eurochordates notochord is confined to tail region euro means tail region chordata means notochord so notochord is confined to tail region of the body of larval larva only it is not present in adult stage representative example is hardmania other sub phyla cephalo cephalo means uh, head uh, in this group notochord extend up to head region not only in larva it is also present in adults representative example is amphioxus so um, in amphioxus notochord is present in larval stage as well as adult stage the third group of chordates is the largest group is uh, vertebrata which is also called as craniata in this group notochord in adults transform into vertebral column as well as cranium vertebral column is a bony covering around uh, spinal cord and cranium is a bony covering around brain so both vertebral column and cranium develops from notochord in adults now vertebrates have two groups this is on the basis of whether jaws are absent or present if jaws are ab absent it belongs to agnatha if jaws are present it belongs to gnatho stomata the living example of jawless vertebrates are cyclostomes cyclo means circular stomata represent mouth in this group mouth is circular in shape representative example is petromyzin commonly called as lamprey myxine commonly called as hagfish then jawed vertebrates have two super class one group is called pisces other group is called tetrapod pisces have further divisible into two class classes one is condictes which includes cartilaginous fish and there is osteichthys which includes bony fish so the two groups of fishes are uh, distinguished on the basis of whether endoskeleton is cartilaginous or bony tetrapoda includes four classes one is amphibia representative example is frog reptilia which includes creeping animals apes flying animals which have feather and mammal mammalia uh, which have mammary gland uh, human belongs to this group 